Hey guys! So as many of you know, I'm a huge public radio nerd, and last week I heard a segment on WNYC that was called Minding Your Manners in a Digital World. I put the link to the segment in the video description box. And it was all about etiquette on the internet. Mostly we talked about Facebook and oversharing and how to talk to somebody if you're uncomfortable with something they've posted on the internet. And overall it was a great segment, but in my opinion, they only scratched the surface because they didn't talk about Twitter. And I absolutely live for Twitter, it's like my second home. And I would have taken more of a tough love approach because if I was doing the segment it would be called, you suck at social media. because. A lot of people on the internet really suck at this stuff. Now my number one social media pet peeve has to be spam. You would think this is a no-brainer, but sending unsolicited mass messages is considered spam. But I see small businesses and individuals doing this on Twitter all of the time. Sending out mass tweets promoting their mixtape or music video or brand or whatever. Yo, you gotta listen to this mixtape. Yo, vibe, check out my mixtape. Gotta make sure you download my mixtape. Yo, y'all talking about mixtapes? Who wants a copy of my mixtape? Mixtape. So if you're using social media to promote your business or grow your brand, your feed has to have balance. Here's a pie chart that I made of your Twitter feed. I think it should be 30% about you and 70% content of value. And when I say value, I mean things that are funny or interesting or newsworthy. Things that people want to actually hear about. But of course, this is not a hard and fast rule. When there are special events going on or different times of year, you might tweet about different things. For example, here's a pie chart of what my Twitter feed looks like on a Thursday night. Now, email isn't really social media, but it is definitely digital and there are tons of faux pas that I see in email every single day, but probably the biggest one is if you're messaging more than five people that don't know each other, please, please for the love of God use BCC because I don't want to expose my email to a bunch of strangers who are going to put me on list and send me all types of crap that I don't want. Which reminds me, if someone does make the mistake of putting you on a huge group email, please do not hit reply all because the last thing that I want is to get 80 messages saying, thanks, love ya, see you at the party, cute picture, lol, like no, stop. And I know it might seem like a good idea, but you probably shouldn't friend your coworkers on Facebook. Epic birthday. <laughs> Sorry, work. L O L. Oh God. And you're fired. And before you even ask, no, your baby does not need its own Facebook page, okay? Updating a status message with, I just took a big poop, is not only weird, but it's really gross. So what are some of your social media pet peeves and etiquette tips? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!